guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my kids' Easter baskets. I don't know about you, but I always love these videos and I get lots of ideas from everybody else's. If you've seen my videos like this in the past, you know that I don't like to buy a bunch of crap for my kids or candy. This year I think I actually got more candy than I ever have for them in the past. So let's get into it. We'll start off with the actual baskets. These are their baskets. I actually think I got them at Dollar Tree last year. Um, they're just small little like wicker basket. This one has a blue polka dot ribbon and it has a handle that goes up. And this one has a pink polka dot ribbon also with the same handle. And I don't usually like to give them lots of candy because they get candy from other people. Like Andy's grandmother likes to give them a little thing. And um, my Aunt Peggy just said that she put together an Easter basket for them. Although she doesn't really like to do candy a lot either. Um, and then we will do an Easter egg hunt with my cousins, so they'll usually get candy in that as well. So that's one reason I don't like to include a lot of candy. The second reason is when there's candy in the house, all they want to do is eat candy. So these are the three things that I got for them. They each got one of these Reese's eggs. They each are getting a tube of M&M minis. These are the kinds that they like. I found these at Ollie's. That's why they have the orange sticker on them. I'm going to take those off. But yeah, just some M&M minis. And then I found these at Dollar Tree. They're the Haribo Happy Hoppers Gummy Candy. So they're like gummy bears, but they're shaped like bunnies. So they each got a bag of those. And as for the other things that will fit in their basket, they each got a pack of stickers. Elijah likes Mickey Mouse. Lily likes Fancy Nancy or just really anything girly. So I picked these both up at Dollar Tree and they were really cool. They have puffy stickers, glitter stickers, foil stickers, and glossy stickers. So I thought they would really like those. And then the next two items I actually picked up in the Christmas clearance at Target back at the beginning of January. And I got these for what, 30 cents? Yeah, they were originally $3 and I got them for 90% off. So 30 cents under these chunky notepads. So of course, gotta have the LOL. And then Elijah got PJ masks. And these are great, they're just blank notepads. So like blank drawing paper. They can stick their stickers in here. Uh, they really, really love these chunky notepads. They love any kind of notebooks, really. The rest of the items aren't really gonna fit in their Easter basket because they're a little bit bigger. So I got a pack of these basket bags from Dollar Tree that I'm gonna try to put everything in. It just has this cute little print on it. So that's what I'm going to use that for. Um, we will start with the books. I got three books. I was originally only going to do two and do one for each of them. So let's start with those two. I got The Garden, The Curtain, and The Cross. I've seen a lot of people talk about this book this year. And it's just got beautiful illustrations. And I just really loved it. And so I will have that linked down below on Amazon if you're interested in getting it. When I got it, it was actually on sale. I think I only paid like $7 for it. But when I looked at it yesterday, the price had gone back up to like $14. So I would just keep checking on it. But it says the true story of why Jesus died and rose again. And it's just a really good book. And so that'll be for them to share. And then this one is... The Berenstein Bears Big Book of Science and Nature. It has, I think it's three books in one. So it's the Bears Almanac, the Berenstein Bears Science Fair, and the Berenstein Bears Nature Guide. And I remember having at least a couple of these books as a kid and it's just really fun and it's informative and it has a bunch of stuff about nature and science and just the outdoors. And I thought that it would be a good book for this spring. And this was like $14 on Amazon and I will have it linked down below as well. And then the last book I actually picked up at Ollie's. I wasn't planning on getting another Easter book, but I really liked this one in the store. It's called The Easter Story, and it was $2.99. And if I can find it online, I will link it down below. But I just really liked it. They had other ones in Ollie's, too. They had these. Um, but this is really the only one I wanted to pick up at the time because I didn't really plan on spending more money on their Easter baskets. I feel like this year I spent more than I ever have but it's all good stuff but yeah it's just a really pretty book as well and has a great story okay so the big things in their easter baskets or next to their easter baskets this year are outdoor toys i really want to focus on getting them outside and playing more outside so i got them a bunch of things to kind of 
encourage them to play outside and have some things to do. So first I got this splash catcher set. You saw my Dollar Tree haul. You've seen this. This is from Dollar Tree. And then I got this little golf club and little tee and little balls to play golf or putt putt or whatever. This was also from Dollar Tree. And then they each got one set of like sand toys. I intend for them to play with these in the dirt in the backyard. This is the Melissa and Doug Sunny Patch Seaside Sidekick Sand Baking Set. I think this one's going to be for Elijah. It comes with a little turtle lid, which is like a little sand sifter thing. And then the big bucket. And then inside there's a whisk, a spoon, and three nesting measuring cups. And I think that this was around like $15 as well. So I will link this on Amazon. I plan on making them like a mud kitchen out in the backyard out of some pallets so that they can have a play kitchen out back and then they can use all this on there as well. Um, and then this one is going to be for Lily and it's the Melissa and Doug sand cookie set. So you've got a spatula, some cookie cutters, a rolling pin, some plates, and a like cookie sheet tray. And I just thought that was really cool. And whenever we do go to the beach, it'll be fun to take to the beach as well. But they can play with it in the backyard in the mud too. And again, I think that this was like $15 on Amazon. And that's it. That's all my kids are getting for Easter besides like some eggs filled with candy from the Easter egg hunt. I hope this gave you guys some ideas. Don't forget there will be some links down below so you can check out some of these products if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye! <laughs>